where you take the animal personality stuff to the next level. Now we're going to talk about reading people and making great bluffs. Now the information you're going to learn is the difference between winning and losing. The difference between winning and losing, oftentimes, especially in a poker tournament or a No Limit Hold'em game, oftentimes is making one great call or one great bluff. If you don't have the guts to make that bluff, you better learn. I remember when I was just coming up in poker, I had a hand come up where it came ace, six, nine, with the six, nine of spades, and I had the seven, eight of spades. I flopped a straight flush draw. And at the time, I probably was only worth $10,000. But I remember on the end of this hand, a blank three and a blank deuce came off, and my buddy checked to me, and I bet $1,200, <laughs> which was a significant portion of my bankroll. Well, that was the old days. He called me and, uh, and busted me. Um, but I rebought back into the game. What, I, what, what happened is they now knew I was capable of making a big bluff. I didn't bluff the rest of the night. I wound up winning $6,000 in the game. Why? Because I showed that I'm capable of making the big bluff. Sometimes when you make a big bluff, you may lose the pot, but it may help you win the rest of the night. As to reading people, this is a skill which is probably my best skill in poker. I just love it when someone makes a huge bet into me in a world championship event and I can call them with second pair or third pair or ace high. Boom, I call. And they say, how did Phil do that? Because I watch their facial expressions. I watch the way they put the chips in. I watched... I listened to what they had to say during the hand. I watched the way they fidgeted after they bet. I watched for everything that they did all the way throughout the hand. When a new card came off the deck, I watched the way they reacted. And I put it all together to make one clear picture. Bluff, I call. The difference between winning and losing. Here it is. Here is here's probably the number one tip that I can give you today on how to play poker. The number one tip this tip is worth 10 times the price of the videos that you paid. And that tip is this. When you bluff, memorize exactly how you put the chips into the pot. Memorize exactly where your eyes were looking. And remember that when you get caught bluffing, you memorize all the little details from when you were caught bluffing. And you use that at the same table against the same opponents when you make the best possible hand. And you're going to make the best possible hand and hold them every 40 minutes, every hour, whatever. Now you're sitting there with the best possible hand and you're looking for a call. You put the chips in the same way. You have the same look on your face. Everything is the same. You're staring down at the table. Make everything exactly the same. And you will get called a scary number of times. I have busted so many world-class players just by memorizing what I looked like when I was bluffing. It's scary. It's like Pavlov's dogs. Phil was bluffing this hand. He's bluffing now. Call. They don't even think long. You have just conditioned your opponent. And that conditioned response that you're looking for will be there. Number one tip I can give you.